Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. What a difference a day makes. Yesterday, absolutely jam-packed over there as E. Jean Carroll came out of the courthouse after a $5 million verdict against Donald Trump. Now, not convicted on rape, and there's people emphasizing that, but the other charges, including defamation, battery, sexual battery, yes. Um, so today, so that's that. We've written a book, actually. I've got a, I've got a, we, we did manage to publish it, at least in electronic form. The, the um, paperback is coming, ideally today. A couple of issues. Uh, it's called Trump Trial One, Press Access Hollywood in the SDNY. And I can say it's not, even that case is not over. Judge Kaplan had said when we moved formally in the docket uh, for the release of both the exhibits, we got the plaintiff's exhibits, most of them, none of the defense exhibits, um, and also for these sealed motions. He said these motions are so dangerous that they can't be released, but they will be released after the verdict. Well, the verdict was yesterday, so we're expecting it today. Watch this site. Uh, in Central Islip, it seems, in EDNY, for sure, George Santos is in custody. George Santos has been arrested, he's been indicted, and we'll be covering that case too. Um, we'll also be covering here the Trump trial too, I'm calling it. Whether it goes to trial in this building or, I'm going to turn around here, over there in 100 Center. Um, it's the Alvin Bragg case, and Trump has moved, as is his right, uh, and many people are kind of mocking it. Cases get removed all the time. I see any number of cases. Many, most of them are civil. Uh, removing a criminal case is kind of unique, but then again, it's kind of unique to, to uh, indict a former president, so or federal official of any kind in state court. So he's moved, and Judge Hellerstein yesterday set a schedule. We posted it late May, June, sometime in late June, and maybe an evidentiary hearing, maybe an oral argument. He said an evidentiary hearing. I don't know what the, it's, it's basically a legal question, seems to me, more than anything else, although it could be evidentiary, whether the, the alleged acts took place in behind the resolute desk. The United Nations totally corrupt, not resolute at all, selling out in every which way, failing on Yemen, Afghanistan, you name it. But we're going to continue to petition to re-enter, to be continued.